Yeah, oh, but I have, huh, I have yeah, do Tanya I picked up the Varus, but I also have another big problem here by the yeah. KBG because they did not pick up any supports, right? So Alistar could be removed, Nautilus could just be removed, which leaves you so much little room for support. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, for for you, you though, like what will he be going like for? for? There's a Nautilus there's a Nautilus and, and a Graga, so it's either A or it's either B. But the the Bigger, bigger thing that I really love here for WBG is this Varus pickup. I did say that Duan Yu is the best Varus player I've ever yeah. seen in the world. And now it's time to showcase that once again. I'm going to check the records, see if this uh, already got picked by WBG and see, you know, what the result was. But back in the day, you know, back in season one, Chi, his former IGN, whenever he gets this champion, it's, it's always a pleasure to watch. Yeah. And do you have the Shen as well? There's so much global. Yes. Global ultimates going to the side of WBG. Now, the only thing yes. that they are lacking is yes. damage. If ever they go into Shen. Uh, the, I, I don't mind, right? As long as you have the Varus, because that's. That's AoE. <laughs> oh, there we go. We asked for damage. That's it. Ah. Uh, come. Huh. Okay. All right, so Shivana, in a nutshell, is pretty much similar to Eight Rocks. You basically farm the early stages and then yeah. be that frank, uh, tanky frontline that will be able to start a team fight. And the Braum is actually a perfect counter to this because at least you will have the Glacial Fisher to wait for him to go in here. Now, WBG is going for the double marksman composition, having the Corgi and having the Varus. Oh, I love their draft. Even more now, I I really think that also KBG has the Hecarim and has the Zoe. Uh, I, I I this double marksman composition will be able to control a lot of team fights because this is a hybrid, you know, a hybrid type of mm. marksman. It's mm -hmm. not the auto attack type of marksman that we often see get played, right? These are two caster marksmen that will really revolve their playstyle around all those pokes. And if you get to poke away a Zoe or a Sivir out of the team fight it will be a lot harder for them to continue on yeah there, there's a lot of pros and cons coming to this draft right I, i'm looking at the draft as well for the side of kbg the thing about this is if if they use up the onset of shadows coming into the backside, yes they they have access onto the likes of corky and varus but the thing is they will leave their their sivir open they will leave zoe open for these big engages as you've mentioned as well um already that these pokes are so much available and uh, there's just too much pokes to the side of WBG side where in if if the likes of Zoe is is left open and Sivir is left open, it will be WBG's perspective that they could capitalize on. Yeah. So excited for this. I don't know, I'm fanboying right now. That's cause, you know, I saw this same draft from a season ago. And I did check the records here, Infinity. This is the first time this season that the Varus will be picked by Weibo, uh, Weibo Gaming and it's going to the hands of my favorite Varus player in the world. Let's see how impactful this is against KBG. Are they in the position to go for the 2-0 or will KBG be able to extend the series? I like this form of rotations coming from the side of Weibo Gaming and KBG already has information as Zou was able to get sights on them initially yeah. so it will not be a successful Four main, four man gang coming from the side of WBG, but nevertheless, the idea was there. They had Galio already, so a really strong early game level one. What Weibo Gaming is expecting right now is that uh, with the Shivana, they will have the faster clear speed, right? So expect zero ganks <laughs> coming in from the Shivana because the Shivana is basically helpless level one to four. You need yeah. the dragon to be even considered a champion, right? That's that's what that's the the way Shivana is played, right? As soon as you have a dragon's descent, sure, uh, you will be able to at least have enough gap close to gank all those, uh, you know, all those laners that are pretty much, pretty much too far forward, right? So for WBG, they have to play this laning phase without their jungler. That's basically it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I like the. Uh... The analogy that we've stated for Shivana that doesn't have any dragons. It, it's pretty much just like a, a super minion walking into the rift. If yeah. you don't have any dragons at all to your side, so 
It will be such of a big importance for WBG to be able to take down at least a dragon. And one of the most important things as well is the Infernal Drake if they want that true damage. Oh uh, yeah, sh for sure, right? Like uh, uh, additional damage for, for the Shivana overall. But it's yeah. we have to remember that Shivana also got reworked uh, quite some time ago in where you know you don't really have to stack up dragons, although it's really a big help. You know, getting 20 stacks onto his uh, Dragon's Descent passive is definitely a good thing to have. But uh -huh. it, it's not as required as before, as I'm trying to say right now. So this is going to be a very more, uh, 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 a much more flexible Shivana compared to be before. But the goal is still the same, right? You know, yeah. as soon yeah, as he secures more it. epic monsters, it just boosts his damage overall. Mm, it accelerates the Shivana, right? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, and I think it will be a very exciting time. You know what? I'll, I echo the... I echo the sentiment coming into this <laughs> game. That you know what? It's a very exciting time for, for Wild Drift as, as an overall look into the series. <laughs> because you're seeing Varys come through, Shivana come through into a draft, right? Corky yes. coming back as well. Because when was the last time we saw our Corky? And yes, we've seen it maybe a, a few times during season two, but it's very scarce to come through yeah. to the draft. It will only be, wait, hang on, level five fan can go in and surprise with the Dragon's Descent. This is what we're talking about, right? Him being level five, at least finally, he has the Dragon's Descent available to him, which uh, basically means that he can, uh, he can just show up from a mile away and can surprise KG, but talking about KG, he's always so formidable on the Fiora. Very formidable with a Fiora, and thus far, this is this is actually very interesting, right? Because the thing is, WBG understands that the the jungler, uh, you called it a while ago. I just want to call it back that WBG has to play the laning phase without their junglers, and uh -huh. they understand if they commit up against KBG, you still have the Brom that could utilize the passive. It's so much easier with Tiama as well being there, and then. Yeah, it's just difficult for them to overextend, so they have to just play it a little bit more safe this time. Yeah, so that's the idea, right? For Duan Yu, it's all about, you know, poking from a mile away. I'm, I, I'm curious to see if, if it will be the Lethality Barris, because uh, we've seen a lot of nerfs on that build path. Uh, that There are some Varus that goes for the on-hit Varus. And by the way, since we have the Corky, we have to remember that, you know, you can get the package, uh, which is an additional advantage whenever taking down objectives. Yeah, Corky as well. The, the the good additional part about Corky, that is something we have emphasized uh, way, way back in year one. Oh, is the okay. ability to shred down armor. Unrun 9 just jumped through under the turret and secured KBG a kill. I want to see that, right? How did that happen? Is it because Yu Yu was hiding in the bush that they were able to get the Quirky off guard? No, it was just a very well placed bubble. And although Fei even using his flash, we all know that if you flash away from the Zoe, it's also gifting the Zoe the double flash, right? That's that's yeah. basically it. Uh, and and the, the good part for Weibo Gaming, although it surrendered a first blood, they will still have the Corky available to use that package if they need to. And you look at Fei, he's already here. I'll fly for the Rift Herald here for the side of WBG. I think this is very clever because they could use Shelly to go into the mid lane to get Chains pressure in. Chain of Corruption. Already used up. Shelly connects or goes into the side of WBG. Wow. Now Keybass Gaming has to pivot themselves to go into the Drake. Right, and now WBG still has the opportunity to challenge this. They still have the Dragon's Descent. They still have a lot of pokes. So KBG knows this, and they're trying to keep away. Yeah, and, and uh, as we stated, right, this is very clever because WBG could put in Shelly into the mid lane, and they could now yep. go into J the Infielder Drake to go Dragon's for the descent. contest. It will be KBG who secures the Dragon, and keep us gaming. Need not to go for the team fight. Yeah, that's two flashes. Although Weibo Gaming, of course, by getting this tower in the middle lane, they won't be successful though. Oh, that's sad, because... <laughs> okay, Zihan trying his best. Oh, oh man! Okay. All right, so what happened there? Because the defenses of the tower plates was on, it took a long time for Zihan to take it down. 
And that may be the reason why what you want to do if you're trying to take down a tower. Wait, hang on. Are they going for the back door? Okay, oh, never mind. They, are. they will still be successful. But yeah, just going back to the nuances of that game, right? Like uh, of that interaction. What you want to do is to, to take off the first tower plate. Now, by taking off the first tower plate, all the remaining plates and HP will be taken down by the Shelly. So it's not the other way around. Yeah. So that that's pretty much what happened there. But nevertheless, it is still WBG who gets the tower for his blood. It will be gold injection towards the Varus as well, which is a good thing, a fantastic thing for the side of WBG. Now this 1v1 can still continues on the top side and uh, yeah, uh, I, I think the KG is pretty much poised to win the top side regardless of, uh, you know, regardless of the state of the game just because you look at the Fiora against the Camille, it's always going to you favor the, you know, in, in terms of dueling the, the, the Fiora. The Camille is better in a team fight scenario just because of the Hexic Ultimatum and that's a trade off that you go for if you go for the Camille. Mm -hmm. And now the Taunt is now going in for the Invade along with Yu and Tiama. There's uh -huh. no information for the side of Weibo Gaming. But right. Jetchun going into the front lines here. With Yu Yu there, and they get info information. Very quick reaction. WBG is still safe. They can go for it. They cannot really go for an engage because one Glacial Fisher might just be able to deter this Ashivana and uh, chunk him down to a point that he's going to be rendered useless. And now 7 minutes and 30 power plates are down. And Weibo Gaming in the lead, very KG. minute. Wait. Hexic Ultimatum denied the repose, and now Fan has to use up the flash to go into that fight as well. KG is now stuck under the tier one, and Z Han just did such a good job. And now the Taunt comes through as well, but the Onslaught of Shadows and the Fan down very low. Yu Yu and Xiaoma come to the backside here. Hero's entrance. To deny the engage from Keep Best Gaming. And now Yu Yu is stuck with a shield of Duran. His Taunt did, and he jumped to his teammate, but that's not enough. With the damage of WBG, they secure a mm -hmm. double. That's a 2 for 0 and that's the power of the Galio, right? With the Hindu's entrance available, KBG was not able to get a return kill after securing that first blood onto a Fiora, which by the way did a very sick parry, right? Like he negated that Hextech ultimatum, timed it perfectly. It wasn't enough though, right? Because with the follow through coming in for the dragon of the Shivana and Zihan, they are going to flash in. It's not going to stop them or deter them whatsoever. Now, this is the more important part, right? Zihan flashing yeah. away from the onslaught of shadows yeah. and making sure that fear will not connect and the hero's entrance of course as we did say will catch you you off guard so instead of it being a one for zero it ended as a two for zero in the favor of Weibo gaming it was so good micro play once again it was so good for the side of wbg <laughs> and you minced it apart bit by bit piece right. by piece it was so amazing to watch out for for the side of WBG, but this is already like one of of the things that we have stated a while ago. How right. WBG always keeps up with these with these engages for the side yeah. of Keep Best Gaming. But one of the unexpected parts is these early games not being uh, something that KBG looks for any favorability all throughout yeah. that nine minutes that we've had so far. That's their playstyle, though, right? Like they they're not really going to uh, go for early game skirmishes that often nets you the advantage. How they go, how they get their advantages through pristine team fighting, all those 5v5s that we, mm. you know, we got to see in game number one. But in game number two, there's been no team fight at all. You have to remember that during that peripheral takedown, they were hesitating because of the package coming in from the Corgi. So uh, this, this draft overall by Weibo Gaming, I'm saying this right now, like this is a genius draft against KBG. Draft now, it will be Getchon who goes John. through with a shield at the ramp, but the oh. time with a perfect time of the onslaught of Shadow. KBG secures the support of Weibo Gaming. And more importantly, they got a package. Package is no longer available for the core key, which means that this is the time for KBG to pounce. Now KG looking to go in for the right flank here. A pincer maneuver for the side of Keep Best Gaming. A steepy bubble. trouble bubble connects onto the Shivana. A perfect signal for them to come through. But the Exec Ultimatum will not be denied this time by the repose. And WBG brought it back to an even number playing field yep. in this team fight. You have to be still be careful, fan. Half on the duration of this dragon, so they are still very formidable. And Duanyu again, as we say, is going to go for pokes. Jason is here. Backside, it will be Siama who will be the target. Zihan going for the chase, gets exhausted. Not enough ability to catch Bubble. up onto Siama, but the dragon 
will be secured by Weibo. Yuan Yu even using his flash just to make sure that there will be no return kill whatsoever. And Weibo Gaming gets the second dragon off the game. More importantly, denies the soul to happen for KBG. And they're targeting this tower here in the bot lane. Zihan, can he escape? I think he does have the enough mobility here. And overall, in that team fight alone, I still favor Weibo Gaming. Yeah, you still have the ability to really, really just go through, but thus far, Weibo Gaming has been acting up very cleanly every single time for those yeah. fights. And a while ago, it was Keepers Gaming who yeah. had the advantage. Yeah. But Weibo, from even the the prior game, they right. were able to really look into loopholes of Keepers yep. Gaming's engages. And they turn the ties in their favor. Right. And you kind of feel for Shaomar, right? <laughs> As a Sivir, oftentimes you will be able to at least run away from the opposition, but you cannot run, run away from the hand. The Hextech Ultimatum is just uh, going to lock you down, especially with the hero's entrance being there. There's just no chance for him to retaliate. Now, G-Chan has to be careful, though. WG now being stuck with Jetchan in front. We'll, we'll, go, we'll be able to go out yeah. with the Justice Punch, but that's about it. Right, and with the Wire Monks available, he will still be able to heal back up. And again, as the game progress further, if Unrun 9 will not be able to get those pickoffs, as the Zoe, it will be harder for them to come back into this because Shivana continues to scale up. And, you know, in the late game, Shivana versus the Hecarim, you're trying to compare a horse to a dragon, right? So, I, I guess you know who's going to end up winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, the dragon can you know, read fire and stuff that you will win. But <laughs> going back into a serious note here, yeah. um, yes, you have so much team fight prowess with right. the likes of Severe into the draft of KBG, but you always have to remember that WBG has an answer of their own. Yeah. You always you have the hero's entrance to deny yeah. that engage. So it's it's consistently what Weibo Gaming is doing up against KBG right. that denies them of anything. It chains of corruption as well, right? Like yeah. One thing about Hecarim is, do you know where it's coming from? Right, like, even if he uses his onslaught of shadows, you know what angle he will be coming from. Unlike the Lee Sin, for example, that you know can use the Could same. Go anywhere. Art. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now, Hecarim, <laughs> he, he's going to. Okay. Well, that's the win condition for KBG, right? They have to rely on Unrun Nine being godly with all his folks. But yeah, just going back, right? like the tone. If he ever goes in. Regardless of how many move speed he, ha he has, Duan Yu would hit him with the Chains of Corruption. And that should be enough, right? That's the goal here yeah. for the Varus. One Chains of Corruption, lock down the Sekarim, we can kill him. He's looking for value. He's looking for kills. Zihan. Again, Zihan, Hexic Ultimatum out of KG, denies that damage with the repose. And Zihan right. will get war spoils we'll get scraps of war <laughs> nothing yeah. in return <laughs> no as in zero kills but you see the idea right that the repost by the way uh reposting or parrying the meteor damage because it's all about the damage exit ultimatum into meteor engine is definitely a cool uh interaction uh i i i hope to see this in league of legends pc one day right the meteor engine because it's only it's only here in wilder yeah and it's only available into uh, I, I, I almost stated like it's only available to WBG, but it's only available <laughs> to the of Legends Wildraft as far. But it's, right. it will be very interesting because in the of Legends PC, it's like a complete item, right? It's not yeah. enchants that we have yep. for Wildraft. All right, so I looked into the items of the Duan Yu. Duan Yu has a flexible build. He does have the Edge of Night, but he does have the Essence of Favor. So it's more of the on-hit type. Does lack attack speed, but have to remember that you know when it comes to takedowns, if he ever gets one takedown, it adds attack speed onto the Varus. Day Chan. Bit of an overextension, going for the Justice Fun, locks up, and now the Great Shell Fisher will connect. A good kill coming from KDG to initiate on that fight. Here is this Dragon's Ascent going through, and the top will fall down. WBG removes a jungler for Keep Best Gaming, and now it's Swan Yu who looks for a perspective for more kills, but the damage of Severe is too much, and Enra 9 will just go in with a proto belt. We'll get a couple of kills. There's only one man left. For Weibo. Yeah, it's a 4 4 2 just because Gagey was able to isolate the Koriki. Uh, it was the package. Jay Chan, what is the guy thinking, right? He's 
overestimating his tankiness, and that is the only thing that you know keeps keep keep us gaming uh, in the game, right? That's that's two picks in a row on towards the same target. And again, he cannot do this because the layering of crowd control is just too much and doesn't have the stasis enchant nor the caracol's enchant to actually just survive all those interactions. And you look at Shaoma here, finally he is in his element. All that ricochets, all that poke damage coming in from Anran 9 as well is just too much damage to the side of KBG. And we did not see, you know, the amount of damage dealt here by the members of KBG, but I think, you know, I think uh, Shaoma was able to cross past the 5k damage threshold in just one T5 just because of, you know, the amount of boomerangs that he was able to uh, do in that fight. It was it was a ton of damage. It was just so much. Plus, right. given the fact that you have Bloodthirster and also Navori Quick Blades, yeah, it will be such a good time because those right. those damage are going to really hurt down Weibo Gaming from then on out. So, yeah. WBG having a 4K gold lead now brought down 2K. It's KBG yeah. who's doing it. By the way, J Chen did have the Stasis Engine. He just was not able to use it <laughs> because, again, the layering of the CCs, right? Uh, Glacial Fisher plus into the fear of the onslaught of shadows. Uh, also, three items already completed to Duan Yu. He still is the primary carry for Weibo Gaming, at least in this game. Because you look at his uh, record, he's already 3 1 and 0. His only death was in that change alone. And now, with three items, co uh, with now with, with three items completed for Duan Yu, how would be how would the next team fight? look like uh against kbg is the question here because you know so far all this uh, all the sea fights it's been a 50 50. it just depends on execution and so far you know no one really is in the lead yeah no one's in the lead thus far anything could turn out right in game right. number one one dragon fight not even the other <laughs> change the right. whole game and it was wbg who stagged or snagged out a win up against keep best gaming yep. in game one so once again, one team fight could change the whole thing. Exactly, and Duan Yu, his folks will be needed here, especially against Shaoma and Unrun 9. We all know that Unrun 9 is still very squishy. ABG's threatening this Elder Dragon. Is there a vision uh, in the area? No, there's no ward in the area by, by, by Weibo Gaming, so... Yeah, KBG is doing a good job in controlling the vision around this Elder Dragon pit, which could spell the difference. Yeah, and similarly, it is also KBG who doesn't have any wards onto the Elder Dragon. They have right. a better possession though, that, which gives him a, a better advantage up against yep. Weibo Gaming from here yep. on out. But this this Elder Drake will be pretty much a winning conditions from any of the, yeah. both these teams. And the package is about to expire soon. Yep, yeah, there you go. It expired. Zero impact uh, for, for the package of Fae. That's the first package that just expired without it even being used by Weibo Gaming. So... You still have to commend KBG. They stalled it to a point that one of the biggest wild cards when it comes to dragon team fights is already out of the picture. Now the Sun going into the dragon's pit, having the contact on the ref scuttle. They got it. It's WBG who was able to take it down. And now it's Kip Fest Gaming who has to speak for now. Yep. And WBG just bought themselves a free vision into the Elder Dragon's pit. Exactly, which could be massive here. And now on Red 9, they. This prop. Oh, wait, Jay Chan. Jachan going Fuck. in with a shield of the man gets to stack up onto the dragons to set Yama gets melted and Weibo Gaming removes the damage of Keep Best Gaming. I think that may just be it. That's all. He's recalling back. He wants to go back. He may just have the teleport available. And now to find out it's soon. KBG who wants to test the Elder Drake wants to buy time for their jungler to come through, but that's no! not enough. It's Weibo Gaming who takes the Elder Drake, and this is a signal for them to go into this fight. And it's KBG who has to back away. Weibo Gaming with the Elder Dragon. I don't understand that tone, right? Like he, he went back and thought for a second that Weibo Gaming will not call the bluff, that you know KBG's jungler will still be there. They decided to flip it and <laughs> they had no information as to where that tone was, but as they say, pros don't fake. Yeah, pros don't fake. Yeah, just commit, just commit. Just don't <laughs> don't let don't let them know of your next move. <laughs> exactly, right? Although it's a it's a Valorant thing. I'm going to copy their their, <laughs> their I would say their catchphrase. Now, with the Elder Dragon available, 
to Weibo Gaming, I think it should be enough for them to force another team fight, and they should have the advantage for sure. Forcing out the Baron after already. GBG has information about this. Going it's to the sure. Jeff Jetson is in danger. Has to force out a flash to run away right. and keep us gaming in the same manner. Xiaoma is yep. down low. Yeah, Warmuk's available to the Galio plus the hero's entrance as well. Fan has to be careful. Now Zihan has sights on the UU as well. The Taunt could pivot themselves, go into that fight. Baron Nasher is down low, and they will not be able to steal it away. It's WBG who gets the Baron, who has the Elder, and now it's Weibo Gaming who is poised to finish this game. That's all, and that's the wrong turn. That's the base of Weibo Gaming, and Weibo Gaming gets the Baron buff, which in turn they can use to push down towers of KBG. I think that may just have done it. That is the separation that WBG needs. You have to credit Weibo Gaming, toe to toe. They battle against KBG, and when it comes to all those 50/50s, their execution is a lot better. So good and thus far, WBG with this untraditional draft from the current running meta that we right. have seen all throughout season two has been yep. so much more of a benefit for them. But thus right. far, keep this gaming is keeping up. They do not want to let this game off without a fight. Yep. Back is still available for Faye, and the goal for Weibo Gaming is pretty much simple at this point. They they want to take down all the towers that are available to be farmed here by Weibo and KBG on the defense, what can they do? 909, CP Trouble Bubble connects onto Jet Champ, but this is this is tower defense game for now, mm -hmm. right? KBS Gaming has to protect the inhib turrets and doesn't need to overextend because once they do, WBG yeah. could respond. Faye gets the tower on the top side and the next goal is this mid lane tower. Even the bot lane tower is about to be destroyed here by WBG. Can KBG defend? And now the Gracia Fisher connects. The Taunt used up the Onslaught of Shadows. But good stays his end chat. It's bot time for Shivana to run away. But Xiaoma answers back. There will be a kill for the side of Keep Best Gaming to remove the jungler. For okay. The KBG. At least it still is a successful defense for KBG. They bought themselves enough time. 36 minutes is waving here, Infinity. <laughs> but uh, one, of the, uh, so? <laughs> yeah, one of the premier reasons why KBG was not able to uh, come back into that 36 minutes game is because inhibitors, they don't respawn in Wild Rift. If you, we are past a certain point, I believe it was 19 minutes, yeah? Mm. If we are already past 19 minutes, once the inhibitor tower gets broken, uh, it doesn't respawn back. So now, with that said and done, Weibo Gaming has a... Natural pushing wave on the top side. That's on. On Sun Shadows already used. Jetchon wants to be caught up by the side of Keep Best Gaming, but Jetchon's too tanky to be able to burst down. And now Ultimate is lost by the Taunt. Yeah, desperation play coming in from KBG. They wanted J Chan. J Chan. Uh, oh it's no! Fisher. On to Z Hand has to use up the hero's entrance, but that's enough time. And now the chain of corruption connects onto UU, but you can't just burst down the Braum just like that and KPG bought themselves a numbers advantage. Ooh, UU MVP. Did you see that UU special? Glacial Fisher onto the primary target. Now Fan is going to get sleeped on. Okay, at least he has enough resistances and tenacity to get away without a scratch. But KBG is now feeling that they have the advantage just because of the man down on the side of Weibo. Yeah, the man down, they have to buy time. Zihan is nowhere to be found, and Elder Drake is now up. And now, it's it's really good, because KBG now has a little bit more breeding room to defend right. those top lanes with Mama. the Super Minions, but Weibo Gaming now committing onto the Elder Drake. Jaechon is down low, though. And Juan yeah. has information, they still have the Scryers. Bloom, and nine going for the stream. Trouble Bubble on you. has to use up the QSS, and now TP's coming in. The Elder Drake is down low, 4k HP remaining. Zihan comes in to fray. Perfect timing for them, but now they pivot themselves. Keep best gaming. Remove Zian as soon as he got down with a TP. He got deleted. Faye is possibly poised to take down another tower, but that is not a trade off that you want to have, especially with Yu Yu being here to defend. This Elder Dragon might just be able to do it for KBG. Yeah, Chan now being chased out. Justice Punch is not being up. The body block is there for Dotan and the damage from Iron and 9 is too much. And now WBG has lost every single one of their members. Right. And now it's Corky on the run. It's just about time to be delayed of that recall. It's KBG who's looking to end this. They want game number three. And for the Nexus that fell, it's KBG that brings it to distance <laughs> in this series. Showing their championship experience, Keep Best Gaming is still a 